she famously didn't show up to the Grammys. She she boycotted the award show. She was an extremely courageous artist at the time who was taking a stand against the music industry. She was taking a stand against inequality in you know in the industry. She there's a picture that's rolling there of her with a the public enemy symbol on the on the side of oh, her that what that shaved is? head. Okay. Yeah, she had you know she she had. She had an affinity with with black artists, with hip hop artists. She felt like they they embodied the same kind of punk spirit that she she had at that that point in time that, that was important to her. That felt you know nothing compares to you turn Sinead O'Connor into a pop star, but she was never intending to be a pop star. It wasn't her plan. It kind of happened by accident. So once she had these. You had had this bigger moment around her, and she didn't quite know what to do with her fame. She, I, I don't think she ever settled into accepting it. And she, she, I don't know whether it was a kind of a, a matter of her not coping with the fame or having or feeling kind of um, pressurized into a box that she didn't want to be in, or maybe it was a bit of both. But she, she really aligned herself with similar kind of loud mouths and punks and people who didn't want to conform. And she made this huge stand where, you know, she, she refused to accept, accept this award. And, and she did it because she wanted to point out that the industry does, is not, does not treat all artists equally. And she kind of, she continued to, to do things like this throughout her career. And really somebody before me said that Sinead O'Connor really stood for something. And she did, she stood for a lot of things. And I think, unfortunately, that her, her voice wasn't always able to be as loud as it should have been. And, you know, I, I interviewed her a number of years ago and she, she kept in touch actually over email and over text. And she used to send me things that she would in an ideal world want to share with, with the world, but couldn't. And, and that's what I'm kind of left thinking of today is the idea of someone who had so much to get off her chest and so, so much desire to do so. And perhaps, just felt by a certain point exhausted and fatigued by being unable to. Mm. 